Okay, so we're at the Turkey Zoo. We're going with one of our favorite veterinarians. Um, she's gonna show us around and we're getting a special tour with her today. And I'm gonna introduce you guys to Natty here in just a little bit. Buenas tardes. Bueno, esto se hizo pensando en ayudar a los animales cuando... She said that the purpose of this rescue center is in order to help the animals that need help. Uh, he needs help from the people because during the pandemic it was a very hard time and his main reason that he built this is for helping the animals and he also take care of some eagles and then he put her back in the system so that is his main purpose but he knows that he cannot do that with all the animals Hello, my friend. Uh, never by the front, always uh -uh. by the side. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. All good. Yeah, that's how you almost got spit before. <laughs> well, now you got me nervous. <laughs> so oh, I don't know no. which way to go. <laughs> the oh, most gosh, animals that are around. here is yeah, animals, animals that were hunting by people and they cannot fly again. So then they call to the people to the zoo in order that they can um, capture them and try to but uh, healthy, but sometimes it's difficult because they have fractures that are very old, maybe one or two years, and it's nothing that they can do. So this center is in order to rescue the animals that cannot survive by themselves. And um, that is what they main do here. He has a fracture in his arm. So this one has a fractured wing. This area here is used to rehabilitate the birds and the eagles and they are eventually released to the wild. He's been called out to be part of a demonstration and we're actually here with one of our viewers, Tom, and his wife is sitting next to me. I said, can we touch? He goes, no. Okay, <laughs> so that's an Andean. Can you call it Andean eagle? Oh, no, it's very Aguila. Aguila? Wow. Big boy. Look at that. <laughs> that guy was big. Yeah. Primero, <laughs> <laughs> Heavy and he yes. didn't want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of eagle was this? This animal came from Paute. Paute is in the outside rural area that is about 40 minutes from here. And this animal was a baby, but the people was afraid like in the rural area and they burned the whole um, place where they used to live so the dad and the mom die and this baby um, fly into the um, into the city of paute and then they call to the environment ministry and then they bring to cuenca and then they put her here in order to recover but it's very difficult to put her out because came when was very little and she don't know how to hunting and also she don't know uh, how to fly uh, when the wind is very strong they try to teach but it's not the same like the mom and the dad so the people are different from the animals and he cannot teach that that is why he's here so long because they try to put her in put her like outside but they couldn't because she don't know how to survive by herself wow. mm -hmm. please be aware that we are adding the gofundme information for this rescue in the description of the video below
So this is a natural massage, no electricity needed for the massage machine, no extra exertion from a human. There, I don't need to I don't need to work on your neck later, right honey? Wow. Look at me, hun. Let's get your face in here. There we go. You know, that is interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just really cool. It's everything you thought it would be. <laughs> yeah. He's got four horns, and he's 14 years old. And he, what kind of animal is this again? It's a sheep with four horns. So it's just a, um, it's a regular sheep that ended up with a deformity. Wow. He's got like a star head. Very, very unique. Uh -huh. So these are two lambs that Natty has rescued. And they get to live here and have a happy life. You're a little piglet. Julie's got a uh, goat, greatest of all time. So Julie's getting to hold a lamb. Oh, that's a treat. And this, everybody, is oh, why glasses. we are vegetarian. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Look at who, who could ever eat that little guy? Oh. Oh. I'm in love. <laughs> oh, he's so soft. Uh, if we had a farm, we'd have a farm sanctuary. We get so big. Look at him. Oh my gosh, he's precious. I'm in love. He's a sweet guy. From Naranjal, from the coast, I went to help um, a cow that is going to have babies. Yeah. And unfortunately, her mom died. Aww. And they say, oh, no, no, send it to a zoo for the food. And then I say, no, no, I'm going to take. But I keep it in my house until he was nine months with the bottle. <laughs> you bottle fed him for nine yeah. months? It was like having a baby because cry every single night. So this is the lamb that was saved by Natty and it is a meat lamb so it normally would have been meat and this one ironically was meant to be food for animals at a, another zoo but she was rescued and brought here. So in here there's monkeys from the Amazon. And again this is a rescue zoo so if these guys are able to be returned to the wild and re, uh, they're rehabilitated, they will eventually find themselves back in the Amazon at some point. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're so cute and you know it. Tiene cosquillas? Tiene cosquillas? Great. You're hilarious. He's laughing. Yeah, he has to go. Look at you shaking hands. So here's a rescue deer that's here in the zoo. He's a real sweetheart, or she is, I should say. And I'm sure because it's so acclimated to humans it would not be good for it to go back into the wild, but she's very, very friendly. Again, who can eat this? So my friend here, you can see she was shot by a hunter and you got the entry or the exit wound over here. And over on this side, you can see the entrance wound. So she's so friendly and somebody wanted to kill this animal and eat it. And she's actually new here, so I was mistaken when I thought she was 
acclimated to humans, but she's been, she's a real sweetheart. Is that healing? In Guinea, her hair is very dry. That means it has a lot of parasites. Oh, bless her heart. There's still fresh blood back there on there. So the zoo tries to stay self-sustaining as much as possible. So they've got a large area dedicated to growing alfalfa and vegetables to feed to the animals that are in here for their recovering and rehab. These are all rescue birds. The macaws up there. And all of these birds, if they can be rehabilitated, would be returned to the wild? No, because they came when they, most of the animals come when they are babies and here they feed by hand and it's very difficult uh, to teach them how to survive by themselves. So these, so these will live out their lives here and and mm -hmm. safety. Yeah. So we just found out that there's 80 deer that are on this um, in the zoo, but they're only out here in the display area during their recovery. And then they have 80 hectares, you said? No, three oh, hectares. Three hectares, okay. Three hectares. Three hectares for the herd of 80 deer that are rescued um, on the other side of the uh, zoo here, which with that, we don't go to that part of the zoo. No. Okay, so it's more like being in nature, but um, they don't go back to the wild because they'll get shot very easily. And here, we keep it here because they need medicine and recover every day, and we can check it up. If we put it in the big uh, property, it's very difficult to check on them. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So this is the kitchen for the animals. See a lot of uh, vegetables and fruits and again a lot of this is grown on the property or they try to grow as much as they can on the property and not have to purchase it. Okay. This is a new rescue over here. So I was corrected. The animal's not a not called a no passar. That means no passing. So it's a, it's actually an ocelot. So this is part of the three hectares that they have for the eighty deer. And as you can see, if they were here to recover, it'd be hard to find them and to treat them. Will any of these uh, be released to the Amazon at some point? No. They were, all of these monkeys were in, in homes as a pet. And they couldn't keep them? Uh, no, they get like a, they don't have like a very good character. And they, they start to attack the people. And then they came and asked if they can take it. That guy's trying but, to dig his way out. But the bad part is that here, you can have a monkey, the people sell, but in order to have the babies, they have to kill the mom. Um, so most of these monkeys had their mothers killed to take them away as pets for somebody? Yeah. Well, how much do they sell them for here? $200. That's very cheap. In the States, it's 1200 Because mm. I tried to talk Warren into he one. Throws. Be careful because he's, he's going to throw, throw poop at you. Oh, hey, thanks oh. <laughs> he just, He's just always threw. like that. Yeah. Hi, guys. So these are all former pets. And unfortunately, the mothers were killed so that they could become somebody's pets. Due to character issues, they ended up here in the zoo. But they can't be released back out into the wild. 
Hold on, guys. Hold on. I'm coming. I'm coming. Come on. Here, hold on. Hold on. Gotta give one to this guy here. <laughs> I'm about to throw my thumb off. Does that make you happy? Okay, I'm gonna give you some down there, little guy. Go, big guy. Okay, here. Sure. You still got food in your mouth? And your fingernails hurt. Here. Hold on. Now this guy. There you go. The animal. And um, during the pandemic, we used to come like every single day in order to help because we didn't have like a lot of workers. And here is a lot of work because you have to cut all the vegetables, the fruits, and then we put it in buckets for each animal eat something different. It's not the same like for the monkeys, for a beer, for a deer. And um, also it's here like a lot of construction working because they make a mess with the beds and all the fences so we have sometimes to repair and they only during the pandemic was working two people and it's a very big place for two people to work and also here they don't have we have to carry the water in buckets to put it to the animals so that is one of the hardest part that's heavy yeah wow <laughs> thank you a todos ustedes <laughs> y no se olviden de nosotros gracias Yes. Thank you, and don't forget about the, the center. As animal advocates and animal lovers, it's Julie and I's privilege to bring you this story about the rescue zoo here in the Tarkey area. If you're in the area and you can make a visit, it is $4 to come in and see the zoo and visit the animals, and that proceed goes to help to support the zoo. If you're new to this channel, this is Warren with Warren and Julie Travel With Us, and we're traveling the world, and we'll be visiting different countries and locations and examining the cost of living to see what it's really like to live in places around the world. So we'd like to have you go ahead and subscribe to our channel, give this video a like, and until next time, thank you for joining us, and have a great day, everybody.